Welcome everyone to Ocean City, Maryland, where a sense of normalcy will slowly be returning to the beach town after two big weekends of concerts. First with the Ocean's Calling, which was a three-day festival, and just this past weekend on Friday and Saturday, that was the Country Calling. And there were 55,000 tickets sold each day. So over the span of five days, that's over a quarter million tickets. And as you can see now, they are beginning to dismantle the festival grounds. It's going to take a few days. There you can see one of the large stages. That was called the boot stage for the country calling. And they did reconfigure things significantly enough to make each festival different. But that was basically the same stage for the Ocean's Calling. And that was called the Seabright stage. So at least we have access to the south end of the boardwalk again because that has been largely restricted and in fact during the concert days it was completely restricted to the general public so no one without a ticket to the concerts had access to it but in addition to that there was also no beach access, at least down to the water's edge during the whole festival. Actually for two weeks in uh, setting up and then during the festivals. So no one was able to go to the inlet beach. Now of course if you had a ticket you had access to the inlet beach. But the jetty itself, there was absolutely no access to the jetty. So that meant nobody could go fishing for two weeks. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk down and see how far we can get. Right now they're in the deconstruction phase. And of course, it's still no access to the general public unless you're part of the cruise. So let's pick it up down here a little bit further and then I'll tell you what else is going on in the next month or so down here because a sense of normalcy does not mean that things are really slowing down much. We are approaching the Jolly Roger amusement park and this would be the access to go to the OC fishing pier but as you can see they still have the barriers up. So that's still off limits. Now, I said a sense of normalcy, but still staying busy. And that's because they have a lot of work to do. They have to break it all down, ship it out, and have it all cleared out by this upcoming Thursday. Because that's going to start the endless summer cruising. The Endless Summer Cruising this year is held from October 10th through the 13th. And the Inlet Lot is one of its main venues. So this all has to go. You can see the concession stands over there. And here's another concert tent right there. This has all got to go. It's got to get cleared out real quick for the cars to have access down here. In fact, as I was driving back into town this morning, it was literally bumper to bumper with the cars heading westbound in a mass morning concert exodus. We've made it down to the south end of the boardwalk. And if you look over here, they still have the barriers up. So that's pretty obvious that there is still no jetty access for anyone to walk down to the jetty 
or for anybody that would like to go fishing there so I guess if you want to go fishing you're gonna to have to go fishing a little farther down at the west end of the jetty yeah we'll walk down there and then I'll tell you what's gonna be happening for the rest of October and early November I've made it around to where it looks like the public access is allowed and in fact there's a couple fishing rods so at least you can go fishing right here right now take a little stroll on the boardwalk down here they've still got the fences up down there so see no jetty rocks right now might be a couple more days and there was no sense in me even asking anybody if I could go down there because I've been through this before and you would have thought I was trying to break in to North Korea. Let's finish it off with the rest of the fall festivals down here at the inlet. And you see that fence right there? Well, I hope they take that down for the endless summer cruising. I mean, I know it's a paid event, but I mean, if they keep that up there and don't let people have access to the jetty, that seems like a little bit too much. So anyway, uh, the endless summer cruising just to uh, refresh your memory it's going to be from October 10th through the 13th and then after that it's the Bronco Beach Bash October 18th through the 20th and then it's going to be Sunfest October 24th through the 27th and there's going to be 20 bands there and all of the entertainment will be free and then finally to wrap it up in November it's going to be the Free State Corvette Club weekend from November 7th through the 9th. And that's going to be nice to have the vets back. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll check back in and see things how are progressing down here in a couple days.